Hello, in this video we're going to look at the general solution for a contract curve for two-person exchange economy. These two persons will have Cobb-Douglas utility functions. In the exchange economy there are two consumers with utility functions, consumer A and consumer B. Again, these are Cobb-Douglas utility functions, so this is a general solution here when we have two consumers each with Cobb-Douglas utility functions. Let X equal the total endowment of good X. So X will equal the initial endowment of good X from person A plus the initial endowment from person B. Likewise, let Y equal the total endowment of good Y, where the total endowment of good Y is the endowment from person A plus the endowment from person B. We're going to derive the contract curve given this information. So starting with consumer A, we're going to get the marginal utility good X, taking the partial derivative of this Cobb-Douglas utility function with respect to X, we get back this result here. Getting the marginal utility good Y, we take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good Y, and we get back this result right here. We're going to form the marginal rate of substitution for consumer A, the ratio of the marginal utility of good X to the marginal utility of good Y, and that will nicely simplify down to the following here. We do a similar thing for consumer B. Get the marginal utility for good X, marginal utility for good Y for consumer B. Form the marginal rate of substitution. Make our substitutions in and then simplify and we get this nice result here. In equilibrium, the marginal rate of substitution for consumer A will equal the marginal rate of substitution for consumer B. So making our substitutions for the marginal rates of substitution that we just found earlier. And now we're going to start simplifying. So I'm going to basically cross multiply here. I'm going to take this DXB and multiply it by what I have up here, the numerator. And likewise, I'm going to cross multiply here. This BXA, I'm going to multiply through and we're going to get the following result here. So again, just multiplying through what we have in the denominators to get rid of those, we get this result. The next step, as we said, the total endowment of good X uh, can be written as follows. And if I were to solve this for XB, we'd get this result. And so what I'm going to do, where I have XB on top here, I'm going to substitute in X minus XA. The total endowment of good Y we saw earlier looks like this. Solving this for YB, we have this result, and I'll do another substitution where I have YB. I'm going to substitute in Y minus the endowment of good Y from person A. So making our substitutions, we have this result here. Next step, I'm going to just uh, multiply through here. Uh, so this ADY term here, I'm going to multiply through what's in parentheses. And then on the right hand side, this BC, I'm going to take this BC and multiply it through by what's in parentheses. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing with this XA, multiply that through by what's in parentheses. So doing that, we get this result here. I want to collect all the YA terms on the left hand side. So I'm going to take this term right here and move it to the left hand side. And we have the following. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out on the left hand side this YA or Y subscript A. And then finally I'm going to divide through by what's in parentheses. And that will be our general solution for the contract curve. So the contract curve for any Cobb-Douglas utility function will be defined by the following. Okay, let's do some examples then. So we have this example, uh, two consumers with Cobb-Douglas utility functions. Uh, a and B here for consumer A are 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Likewise, the C and D for consumer B are also 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Let's say the endowment here for good X is 100 and the endowment for good Y is 50. 
here is our general solution that we derived and now we're going to just substitute everything into it. So making all our substitutions, the B, the C, the A, D from the exponents and then the total endowment for good Y is 50, the total endowment for good X is 100 and now we're just going to simplify this. So 0.5 times 0.5 times 50 gives us the 12.5 uh, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 100 is 25. And then these two terms over here in the denominator will cancel, and you're left with this expression for the contract curve. Let's do another example. Uh, also, Cobb Douglas utility functions, in this case, A equals 2 and B equals 1. And for consumer B, C equals 1 and D equals 2. We can ignore the 8 and 12. That, those values do not affect the marginal rate of substitution. And let's get our endowments. Once again, total endowment of good x is 100. Total endowment of good y is 50. Here is our general solution, making our substitutions now. And simplifying, we get the following result. So that is, a general, that is the specific solution for the contract curve under this scenario. Okay, and that's it.